Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we solve a lot of problems on this channel, and we discuss a lot of algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button under this video because that helps me create this content for you guys. Awesome, so let's get started with today's problem, same tree from leak code. Awesome, so the question asks, given two binary trees, write a function to check if they're the same or not. So I'll walk through three examples and um, explain what they're looking for. So if we look at these two trees, by the way, this is P in the input and this is Q. And we're given these two trees and we need to check if all the values in those trees are the same or not. And by same, they have to be in the exact same uh, spot in both cases. So this is P dot left should be equal to q dot left and p dot right should be equal to q dot right. So if this is the case, we can see that the output is true here um, and that's what we need to return. Okay, and the second example shows a case where the tree is not symmetric and that's because um, we have here p dot right over here is null, so there is nothing there, and q dot left is null here. So when we compare two with null, so if we're comparing p dot left and q dot left, so we're comparing two is not equal to null. So we need to return false in this case. And then the third example is where we have um, sort of the positioning of the um, nodes are node values are not the same so that's when we need to return false as well so here you can see if you go p dot left you're you have a two and then q dot left you have a one here okay so with this in mind let's formulate an intuition to solve this problem the easiest way to approach this type of problem is by using recursion and if you're new to recursion, this is a good problem to get started and uh, practice recursion because this is one of the easy level problems that really gets your mind thinking in that recursive um, solutioning way. So with every recursive function, what we need to have is a base case. And this is the case where we need to tell the computer, okay, stop, we have what we need, um, let's return. And for this problem, the base case is going to be when we have compared all the nodes in the tree and we are at a node that's null. And if, if the P um, node is null, as well as the Q node is null, right? So if they're both null, then we can return true because we have compared that side of the tree and we are um, we need we have done everything we can and there has been nothing that stopped our pro progress from saying oh this these um, nodes are in equal so then what we need to do is create that um, stopping point where we return uh, false and say hey this node is not equal to this node so for example if there was another value here instead of two and if we're comparing node two um, then what we would do is we would say, oh, okay, if the p value is not equal to, to the q value, then just return false. We don't need to check further. We are done here. Um, this is a condition that we are able to return false to and um, not look any further down the tree. So that is something that we need to place after our, we have checked the base case. Right? So this is going to be uh, the first thing we have in our function. If they're both null, return true. If the values don't match, then we are going to return false. And the third condition here is if one of them is null and one of the nodes is not null that we're comparing, we also need to return false. So let's walk through this example. Here we have um, four dot left is null here right um, and let's imagine over here that for the left is not null right so here let's say we have um, like a six or something okay <laughs> let's let's cross this out so yeah let's let's imagine that there's a value there and then there's no value here so if p is null and q is not null then we need to return false. So this is another case we need to keep in mind. Similarly, if there was something over here, um, let me just go back. 
yeah, so similarly, if there was something over here where we have from this place p dot left is 6, and then q dot left here, there is something null, right? So again, this is not, this does not make the tree symmetric. So if this is the case, um, then the values don't match, and we also need to return false. Okay, so these are the three conditions we need to keep in mind when we are testing if um, p is the same tree as q. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the code. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and what I've done here is written down the steps we need to do as we discussed in our solutioning. And I have the base case right here, so if p is none and q is none, then return true. And this is where we are at the bottom um, of the tree in both cases and we have checked everything and uh, all the values match so this is when we need to return true and then what we're going to do is check if one side is um, none and the other side is not so if there's a mismatch like that then we need to return false so I can say if if p is equal to none and q is not equal to none or we could have the other case as well where we have q is equal to none and p is not equal to none So if this is the case, then we need to return false. That means there is a mismatch. So we'll say return false. And the third mismatch case that we need to check is if the actual values are the same or not. So this is when we're checking if this two is equal to this two. So we can say if p.val is not equal to q.val then we need to return false. Okay, so now we have done this base case. We have done if one value is none, we have checked the values. And the last thing to do is now to call the recursion on the right side of the tree as well as the left side of the tree. So I'll go ahead and do that. So we need to check is same tree. And we will say, we will send p dot left and q dot left. Okay, so I need to say self before this. So you can see we're calling the same function here that is defined. And we are now comparing um, the p dot left values as well as the q dot left values. And the thing to understand about recursion is everything we do here applies to each node. And it makes it easier for us to visualize the problem when we um, consider the case from the perspective of each node. So for example, um, here we will have p dot left, which is two, and q dot left, which is also two. And then um, if we go through this, they're not equal to none. Um, there's no mismatch here, so it won't go into this if statement, and it won't go into this if statement as well. Um, so then we will continue our recursion because this hasn't hit any of the base cases or returned false. So this is what we need to do for the left side as well as the right side because both of them need to come um, back as true for us to say yes this is the same tree so i will do the same for the left, uh, right side so i will say self dot is same to this and right and right okay and we can just return all of this because this will give us the boolean value that we're looking for um, when we are returning these um, 
returning from these if statements. Right? So if all is good, we are at the last node of the tree from both sides, then we can return true. And that's going to be our return for the entire function. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, now let me go ahead and run this code. Okay, accept it and submit. Awesome, success!